What is up guys and gals? Welcome to Death Road to Canada. I've been excited about this one. I've been waiting for this game to happen for a very, very long time, and at 2 in the morning last night, a key landed in my inventory, and it has been crazy. I sat around all night debating whether I just wanted to stay up and play, or whether I should go to sleep and hit it fresh in the morning. I wasn't really sure, but I'm pretty hyped right now. If you haven't heard about Death Road to Canada, it's kind of like FTL, except in a zombie apocalypse, and then also, you're headed to Canada. So, that's pretty cool. Apparently, in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, we need, like, milk in a bag or something. So, I, do they still do that? That was, like, the joke back in the 90s. I don't know. Can you still get milk in a bag? I heard that from a Five Iron Frenzy song. That's all that I know. I'm culturally insensitive. I'm sorry. Let's play Death Road to Canada! Alright. Oh, man. This music... <laughs> What's wrong with our character? He looks like Gary Busey with a tan. Good lord. Oh shit. No! I punch you, zombie! Okay, I don't punch you. I go through this door over here. So I'm playing with a controller because do the zombies come through doors? I've got a bit of wood. Okay. Oh, they do. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Here we go. I'm gonna smack this thing. Gary Busey, rage! Did his tooth just fall out when I hit him? Dude, I knocked his tooth out. Yeah! We just did some sports-related dentistry. This music, really, I was expecting something a little bit more like survival horror-y, like pianos, and like dun-dun, like creepy type shit, and this is actually pretty uplifting right now. I feel good about this. I feel like I'm playing one of those old NES games where it was like, I don't know, the Addams Family, and you expected it to have, like, different music than it actually ended up having. I like these chiptunes, though. These chiptunes are going. Oh, who is this badass dude? Looks like he should be playing bass and ZZ Top. Hold on, let me loot this stuff first. I'm assuming that's nine bullets, and I'm assuming that's nine bullets. Who are you? Graham sees Lewis, who is a real dink. Zombies have broken into my home. This is probably your fault. It certainly wasn't mine. Oh, he's an asshole? When the group found this zombie bunker, Lewis called dibs on this big bedroom before everybody else. I can tell him to cool it, I can leave him be for now, I can convince him to help fight zombies, or I can call him a dink. I'll call him a dink. Graham calls Lewis a dink. Lewis is shocked. It was fun to finally tell him what a dink he was. Graham's morale increases, Jennifer's morale increases. <laughs> so there you go, in the zombie apocalypse, sometimes you just gotta insult a guy with a beard in order to make the whole thing go better. Alright, so we feel better. We call- do I stab with this? Oh, I stab with the rebar. Okay. So I've got a piece of wood, I got a baseball bat. In case you're wondering, you kind of have to play this game with a- with a controller. It's on PC, but the PC controls are unpleasant and I don't like them, and so... I'm playing with an Xbox controller. And so anyways, the B button makes me swap weapons right here. The A button makes me pick stuff up, and the X button makes me swing at things. Haven't really messed around with the Y button just yet. Don't know if the shoulders do anything. I suppose we'll find out. I like this music, it's making me happy. Oh, we picked up a floor burger. Hooray. Nothing like good old linoleum burgers. No, don't do that. I wanna I wanna loot that. Oh yay! Somebody had a burger in the oven. And a burger in the cabinet. People love burgers apparently in this world. That's I didn't realize that. When you want to go to Canada, you need your passport and you need burgers. Graham meets Olivia who seems to have messed up a vowel. I think we will have to leave this safe house. At least go... We, at least we've got a rest for a while. We should try heading to Canada. Would you like me to travel with you? More people means more hands to loot and fight with. It also means more people to get in the way, eat up the food, and also argue. Hell yeah, bring Olivia along. She's got a cool hat. I wish I had that hat. The group accepts Olivia to the team. Olivia joins the team. Onward to Canada! The rallying cry that I've shouted so many times. All right, Gary Busey, you've inspired loyalty in all of your men, women, and all of your followers. Go forth and slay zombies in the name of craziness. Oh, his face turns red as he beats things. Huh. All right. <gasps> What's in here? Shotgun shells? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, a shelf burger. Hooray. A couple of bullets in a cabinet. Always be looting, yo. I always be looting all day long. Watch out for huge swarms running off and beats fighting. Forget that. That's wuss status. We kill. We kill, destroy, and murder. It's what we do. 
What's the point in living if you can't smack the piss out of a couple of zombies every now and again? Had enough of your shit, zombie. Oh, that one's got skull face. That one's got like a Baron Zombie thing. All right, run. Run. Run away. He's got Baron Zombie face. It's too scary. I can't do it. Oh, no. Well, don't help them break out. Yeah, let's just keep trucking. Oh, there's more in here. Space for team swap or info. You can swap in between people. I don't know what space is. Oh, shit. Stab. Stab like the wind on a cold afternoon with dreary overcast. Wow, that zombie has a serious overbite. He needs to see an orthodontist like right this second. That is going to negatively impact his quality of life if he doesn't get that fixed. Hey, it says that I can swap leaders. I have pushed a great deal of the buttons. Oh, okay, so you can do it like that. You jump into the menu. She's got a shiv. Shiv and a thigh gap. The Jennifer story. I kind of want to be Olivia, but she has no weapon. Alright, back to work we go. And by work, I mean smacking zeds. You found the ladder out of here. Yes, we should definitely climb out because for whatever reason in his survival bunker, he has caged up zombies by the thousands. Choose game option. Oh, it makes you play the tutorial thing first. I thought we were actually playing the game. That's what I get. Custom characters or new game. I don't know if I want to... Oh, we can make custom characters. I want to do custom characters. That guy's got, like, the Jason Statham butt chin. Let's go ahead and do that one. I want to see what Jason Statham looks like with hair because I've never seen it before. There we go. Jason Statham with a comb over. Oh, they've got the hair from Pulp Fiction. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, he can have a hat, though? Oh, well, bandana is the obvious choice. Well, that has... Yep, that's it right there. We've done it. We've done it. That one seems all right. And no, I'd like to go for natural colors here. There we go. That works for me. Shades? Oh my god, we can just keep getting cooler. All right. Now for the body. What can we do with the body? So we can make him like bigger. Oh, you can make him bigger, smaller, like yoked out. I don't know if that's fat or yoked out. I'm not really sure. It's not too clear. Oh, where the khaki's at now. Yep, there it is. That's it. We're Cholo Survivor. It's all over now. His name is Chuck. That sounds good to me. His perk is friend of dog. Being able to repair the car could be what saves you. You get a wrench. You start with one point mechanical, one point fitness. Oh my god, there's so many here. I don't know which one I should pick. This person has always been a real fighter. You start with a hatchet strength and gain a point in shooting. Train strength 20 more times. Hell yeah, let's be a fighter. Let's do it. His trait is civilized. I don't know. Can I be a warrior? Good start on the zombie thwacking skills with a nondescript personality. So my personality sucks, but I'm great at murder. I don't know what I should pick right now. Let's be charming. We're already good at fighting based on our other things, so let's be, let's be charming. From perception of others, good attitude, and pure charisma, there's something about the person that opens doors. Charms way into free stuff or out of bad situations. Can't charm way out of everything. Yeah, well, we're going to try. We're going to try, okay? Let's do it. This is, Chuck is what's up. Chuck is what it's all about. No, don't delete Chuck. I want to keep Chuck. Chuck is awesome. Aw, oh, do I not start as Chuck, though? I want to be Chuck. Yeah, low Chuck. There he is. Hell yeah, Chuck time. That guy has some kind of goggles on. I mean, everybody's lacking arms, too. So I don't really know what that has to do with anything. Like, Oh, he gets sad when I turn him away. Yeah, let's play with Buddy. He's a frantic whiner, but he's a pistolier. He's Benedict is his name. Can I get another one? A Gungeoneer who's charming, a mega buff, oblivious Everett. Frank, who has health care and resilience. I've always got medical coverage, so he's got to come with us. We may have to marry him some way along the line, too, so we can get ourselves into a hospital for on the cheapity cheap. Let's see here. Death road, normal mode, familiar characters mode, short trip to heck mode, deadlier mode, long winding road mode, rare characters mode. Let's just go with normal mode, shall we? 
The normal default game mode. Get your skis, pack a toque. We're going to Canada. Must most road recruits you find will be random, but sometimes you will be more lucky. Okay. Start it up. Chuck hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. You can keep your car going way longer if you have a great mechanic on the team. Let's hit the road. Oh shit, we're driving now, son. The group spots an abandoned Yalmart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. Swarm size is mild, aggression is sluggish, current time is afternoon. Let's go bargain hunting. So in our pack there is very little. I've got a machete, which seems pretty cool. Oh my god, there's so many statuses for me to be like aware of. Frank claims that he was a star athlete. Apparently his wits are terrible, so don't let him do anything that requires wits. Our wits, morale, and attitude are great though. We don't know what our strength is, however, even though I took the warrior perk. One would assume that, oh, we ran over zombies. Let's boogie. Uh, yeah, get dealt with, zombie. Yup, get whooped on. I don't know if I should be fighting all these guys. They said that the swarm was tiny. This seems a bit larger than expected. Let's just work our way around. How about that? Can I go through the cash registers? Can we get paid today? Ain't no pay today. Yeah, buddy old pal, stop doing dumb shit. Oh, we got a gun? I can pistol whip with the gun, but I don't think that's the common usage of a gun. Can I throw the shopping cart? Hold on, what about the- Oh, I hit him with a shopping cart, yes! Alright, we're gonna need to clean up on aisle three. Oh, we found a floor burger again. We found a box full of bullets. So how do I shoot this thing? Oh, it just fires like that. Okay. Does it call in more zombies or anything else like that? What is this? Medical kit. I just wanted to see how the gun works, so now that I'm aware, that's cool. Oh, there's zombies coming in now. I, I figured that might have made us a couple of friends. I like how our mustache is so large and so manly that it sticks out from behind our character's head when he walks upwards. This is the shit. Alright, zombie. I apologize, but you gots to go. You gots to go! I don't see anything inside the bathroom, except for toilets, which are to be expected here. After all, it is the natural habitat of the banyo. Ow! I gotta ride and save the homies right now. Down this way, down this way! Don't get bit! Stay back, Dave! Whatever your name is, I'm calling you Dave for now. I'm calling you Dave. Give me, give me the gun. Oh shit, no, he's coming out from that way. Run, Dave! Dave, no, 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 no. Oh, it looks like you actually like let it zoom in. Like you see the little reticle thing? I think if you let it like tighten. Ah! I think if you let the reticle tighten, it actually shoots better maybe. I don't know. Oh, there's something in the toilet. A bullet. There was a bullet in the toilet, but now there's flies everywhere. <laughs> Let us vacate. So what did that do for my health? Like, is my health bad now? Oh no, we've been bitten. No! There was something over here and I want it. Yeah, 18 bullets. Everybody needs more bullets. I don't see anything else around. So maybe we go this way? Was there anything outside or was that mostly just like a misunderstanding? A zombie's head is shaped like a tuber. Sucks to be him. Eh, I don't see anything out here. Let's continue our journey to Canada. Yeah! Found two total food. We got one medical. 27 pistol ammo and we killed 20 zombies. We are thorough like that. The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they're getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal. We lost four food. Let's sing a song. 
The group tries to keep spirits high by singing. Whether or not the singing was good mostly depends on your attitude. Chuck's morale is up. Frank's attitude was revealed. While scavenging, the group runs into a man covered in cardboard boxes. He says he's been stuck here for days. He has a rifle lying on the ground outside of his reach. Should someone steal his weapon? Uh, help him up. Whatever. The group saves the man from all the cardboard boxes, pinning him down. He can't spare a reward, but he is really, really grateful. Therefore, our morale increases to even happier emojis. We are losing gas right now, though. That's a little concerning. The group spots an infested city from the road. Scouting it from afar, the group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. The zombie forecast is swarm size mild, aggression calm. Yeah, let's go to the strength and fitness gym, or we can go to the office building. Um. Let's go pump some iron. With the iron in the California. I like how he swerved specifically to kill a zombie right there. I say because that's precisely what I would do too. I'd be like, well, looks like we're swerving to get this guy. Man, it takes more to kill them, don't it? Can I go in here? Oh, I can, yes. It's looty time. It's looty und scooty time. I think the homie needs a weapon though. He needs a weapon badly. Pretty decent amount of food right here. Away from me, the black blooded beast. Okay, so we're good now. Let's go up this way. We'll check this door. Come through, come through, come through. Close the door. All right. So we got nine bullets. That sounds pretty good to me. Is there anything in the turret? It looks like there might have been something in the turret, but never mind. Oh, shit, no! I wasn't expecting him to break through the door like that. I guess that's a thing that happens. Oh, we found another burger. Ooh, a fancy toilet with one gasoline inside of those gas-powered toilets for when you really got a shit for those P.F. Chang e evenings. A toilet with a garbage disposal equipped on it. <laughs> like, oh, gross. And this is what goes through my mind. Eh, you're all alone and have no friends, therefore I will beat you to death with a hatchet. That's how I live my life. Don't judge me, Nerd Castle. Another food right there. It looks like there's lots and lots of stuff for us to loot. I don't know if there's like a time limit for how long we can be out here just like jacking shit. But I'm okay with getting more burgers if I need more burgers. I mean, I love burgers. They're delicious. Yes, you have killer dreads. That's cool. Ooh, a blunderbuss. A cowboy rifle. I don't think I have any bullets for this. Oh, man, he's got the gun now. I guess I'm okay with that. What is that, money? Or rifle bullets? Or what the shit was that? Dude, this wrench does work. This pipe wrench is no joke. I think at a certain point you stop hurting things. No. Ow. No. Stop touching me. No, Dave, stop fighting. Stop standing your ground. I know it's Florida, but... Alright, how whooped up are we? You ain't got no bullets? We'll get some bullets, man. Yeah, give him the rifle so he can actually, like, do shit with it. And, like, shoot stuff. There we go. What is this? A spatula. I don't think that's going to help me with the wanton slaughter of my foes. Dude, are you beating them to death with a severed femur? That's so metal. Weirdly enough, I approve. I think we already... Did we go that way? No, there's hella zombies in here, though. Let's go around this way. And then through here. Oh, shit, there's too many. Alright, close that door. We'll deal with them later. Got some rifle ammo. We got some pistol ammo. There's a window right there, just in case we need to jump out of that. That zombie tripped and fell in front of all the other zombies, and now he will be ridiculed. Oh, teamwork. With the juggling combos. 
Luckily, we don't seem to have stamina or anything like that, so... I don't think there's any permanent detriment to us, like, swinging on hella zombies and just being ballers like we do. Five bucks, or I'm sorry, five bullets, 11 shells there. Was there anything good in here? The bathtubs and some other stuff sitting around? Nah, we ain't got nothing in here. Let's bounce on out. How long before my hatchet breaks? Like, do I know? In addition... How do I medicate? Because we're looking a little scratched up right now. Wait, was it pointing at something over here? Oh, I can throw corpses. That's pretty sweet. Instead of the spatula, bring the femur. There you go. Is there anything else on the block? And we're not even out of Florida yet right now. Although I figure Florida would be where the zombie outbreak would come from. The Muscle Bomb Gym. Nothing like Muscle Bomb for putting on that extra... Ooh, there's weights everywhere. I hit that guy in his butt with a femur until he exploded. There's a deluxe Ultra Mega Fit brand stationary cycle here. Like the treadmills, this works with the electricity cut off. Chuck considers taking a break to get some fitness training as he is guarded. Are you for real right now? We can stop and work out. Well, now we kind of have to. I say we kill all the zombies and then we work out. How about that? Get swole, son. Get those Lance Armstrong legs. It seems like the femur makes me less tired. Is there some reason you're not assisting, Dave? Whatever the hell your name is, I'm just going to call you Dave from now on. Just don't shoot any guns. If you shoot any guns, I'm going to be upset with you. There you go. Now you're helping out. I'm trying to get my workout on. You're making it difficult. There you go. Finish him off. Now guard me while I work out, please. Oh, we're doing, we're doing the good shit right now. We're doing the heavy exercise. Chuck sets the stationary cycle to uphill country road and starts pumping his legs. He manages to pull something in his leg. The pain makes him fall off the bike. Chuck's fitness has been revealed. <laughs> Apparently, I am not fit. I am unfit for what I tried. Oh, the closed toilet has gas. On. These gas-powered toilets just everywhere right now. My name is Splattercat. Oh my god, this game is called Death Road to Canada, and we're out of time for the day. I will see you all later. This is probably just going to be a short series. Hi, do, and I'll see you next time, everybody.